Today, I'm going to talk about how to care for and wrap your UT cables. Let me start off talking about what not to do with UT cables. The last thing you want to do after the job is take the cable, crumple it all up, throw it in the case, and eventually you're going to run out of luck and that case is going to be a guillotine and this is going to happen. Another thing not to do is to wrap a coax cable really tightly. So lots of people do this. We wrap it around our hands like this and then we have a little piece left over. We do the middle and we say, great. Made a nice little package. The problem is this figure eight has lots of stresses in it. Coax cables don't like that. When you unwrap it and go to use it the next time, you've got all these weird bends in it. Those things get caught on scaffold poles, all sorts of things. You're gonna break the cable and you don't wanna be 50 feet up on a scaffold with no cable. Before we even get to wrapping the cable, we should be cleaning it. You can do that with a rag. If you want to condition the rubber to make it nice and soft, you can use something like Ballastol. That's a German product. It's been around for about 100 years. I can get it in Canada. Uh, you can get it in Germany. So you can probably get it all over the place. We also want to make sure we put the cable away dry. You don't want to open that Pelican case after three months and find out that you have a fungus factory. This is especially important on braided cables because they like to trap the moisture. And be extra careful with compressed air. You can use compressed air to clean out the ends of the cable. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes you're going to just push the dirt in further. So be careful with that. The right way to wrap a cable is in nice big circles, just like it was when you bought it. So you take one end in one hand and then create nice circles like this. You kind of have to twist these two fingers and get the cable to lie in the same circle that the last one did. Now, if you don't twist, what's going to happen is you're going to end up with this. You're going to say, I'm going to make a circle and it's not going to work. And you're going to end up with something really ugly. When we're done, I tie it up with a little black twist tie or one of these rubber twist ties, which you can get off of Amazon. They're actually made in the US. And there you go. If you don't have a twist tie, you take both ends, leave them dangling like this, and you're going to take one and sort of coil it around very loosely around like that. You're going to do the same thing with this end and that will do in a pinch. I also like to use Ziploc bags. It's nice because when you pile two or three cables on top of one another, inevitably one of them is going to get tangled with the one below. You're going to pull out one cable and you're going to get three. So Ziploc bags are nice. And there's no point in going to all this trouble and then taking your cable and jamming it in a small compartment in your probe case. So I have two probe cases. In one of them, the compartment is big enough to put a nicely coiled cable. And in my second probe case, it wasn't. So I took a knife and I cut the edges of the adjoining boxes out. And now I have one big area. And now for something completely different for the what's that weird thing part of the video. I just got one of these. This is a product called Tenix by a company called Vertex Components out of the UK. And essentially, it's a little cable management system that you attach to the back of your UT set. And it almost works like a seat belt system with a little spring loaded contraption. So you put this on the back of the unit and you pull out only as much cable as you need. And when you're done, you hit the button and the cable goes right back inside. It attaches to the back of the UT set with this little clip. This fits on a Sonitas D series right now, but they are working on the Sonitas Wave, the Olympus Epoch, and the USM Go. This attaches to the back, and this actually has a magnet in it, so it clamps right in. So you have your cable available to you right there, and you coil it up right on the back of the machine. Cable management in UT is a really big deal. There's always some black cable hanging somewhere, whether it's power cable, umbilical cable for your scanner or your probe cable. They're easy to step on and easy to snag on a piece of scaffold. If you clean the cable and coil it up nice and put it away, it's going to last a long time and that's going to save you in the long run. I'd like to thank my friends Matthias Dreifeld from Germany and Michael Gallagher from Ireland for helping me out with some of the tips. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and thanks for watching.